welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about film scoring. I'll be scoring a movie scene. going to show you some techniques even when you're faced with limited time like I was in this movie. Now, unfortunately, this movie just uh, still has not been released, so I'll have to blurry the scene a little bit, but don't worry because the focus is in the techniques. This is how I approach on a scene like this. We have to meet the director's expectations and needs, but also we have to move fast and efficiently, all right? So let's just score this scene real quick. Let's take a look at this establishing sh shot. I don't know if we need music here, we'll see. Okay, thief. Okay, cool. Let's set a marker here at the end of this, but then we have this moment. I would come in with the music here. Music in. Then we've got the second part here. Boom. I think this is the boom moment where she realizes the door is open. So, boom. Let's continue to watch. We could have a ton of markers, right? We could hit different things, but I'm not gonna do that because again, I'm trying to show you how we can do this efficiently. So I'm gonna skip a lot of markers and that's an approach that you can take. Okay, it's more of the same thing, more of the same thing. The markers are a little bit loose, but what I would avoid for sure is like, obviously this is not a cut. She turns around, she sees the book. If we hit this moment, no, it's like you see something and then you think something. So that's what the music is gonna be doing. So we're gonna react to this here, maybe name of the markers. Yes, pillar use. And then we wanna here. Also, we're gonna react. It would be a frame, let's see, boom. And then we're gonna keep going. Oh my God, what happened? Gosh, all right, cool. We want to do this quickly, right? The music is gonna in here. And for you've got this scene. He wanted more anger here, but also he wanted more darkness and for the second part of the scene is to make the audience believe that the thief could still be there we're gonna start with the second part because i have a better idea how to do this what's the tempo yeah super slow we don't need to hit many things here so the first thing that i do and i recommend you it's uh you're gonna have your textures your stuff like this you're gonna need to have things like this you're gonna need to have Stuff like this, you're gonna need to have things like this, right? What I like to do is first kind of like set the mood. We're gonna set the tone, the feeling, the mood. And so we're gonna start with this, right? Here's gonna be a boom here, and then we're settled. See where it came in? It's kind of like clusters and things like this coming very naturally when kind of like camera pan or cam like moves like this. So one more time. It feels very natural. So she comes in, it's like, oh my God, what's going on here? What happened? Then second room broke like this is serious. And oh my goodness. Okay, so if you see how this has been edited, it speeds up the editing, right? The first cut is longer, the second one is a little bit shorter, and the other three or four cuts are slightly shorter. So I think that as we transition here, we're gonna start, I was gonna set a marker here, building up. We're gonna start building up here. Uh, here, we can hit this thing, okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be a hit. It can be a, a musical gesture or, or something. And then the arc is gonna go from here till here. We'll have to lower a little bit and then zas. So something that keeps the interest, mu musically speaking, or the audience interest is basically having some sort of melodical statement in the, generally for a texture like this, the low instruments, this is gonna work very well. Like for example, if we have cellos and double basses, like let's write the texture like this.
I think that that works for the bottom, bottom. That was cello section, double basses section, and down below we've got bassoons and contrabassoons. They would sound like this. The power of orchestral music is that sometimes a very simple element, just the violin's one section playing three notes, the that can make an entire cue. And when you've got live instruments, these three notes, four notes, they feel so good. With samples though, because there are things that make them sound artificial, then we try to cover those imperfections with orchestrating it more than we need. But this is a very typical texture in every Brahms symphony. It's low strings with, with bassoons, basically, but it works. Hey, we are rolling for Momentum right now. Momentum is a program where you get to work with some of the biggest Hollywood composers and you end recording with an orchestra. Fox is scoring a stage. Your music gets mixed by Danny Sands. Amazing. It's long to explain. If you want more information, there's a Q&A video down below where I explain everything about Momentum. And if you are ready to enroll, there's another link where you can apply to Momentum. So like application only. All right, let's continue to the video. Could we say like this first part kind of like works? So we've done about 30 seconds of music. I'm not promoting you be late. I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible and meet what the director needs in this case. I didn't start with the bottom from the very beginning. I let the cluster E texture to go for a few seconds. I would go here, and I think the second thing could hit a little bit later. Camera. Even a little, little bit later, but it's okay. Okay, cool. Let's go with a second texture. So I'm gonna duplicate this track. And now on top of this orchestra, we're gonna go with something like... So we're gonna bring the brass clutter on top. I think it's gonna fit. to stop here and the other one has to stop there as well now we have to build from here to here we're gonna go michael giacchino style right so we're gonna use an arp right low arp this one is, is over the left side this one is gonna sound to the right now the second we're gonna make it press de la table instead of holding the arp in the in the middle press it closer to the wood this is the natural and here's de la table it has a little bit more a uh, metallic kind of feel to it so the one to the right is going to be with press de la table and now we're going to select both of them to get that uh, stereo feel that we want. I'm gonna go here and for the second arp, I'm gonna move it ever so slightly. I'm gonna nudge it a little bit. You can hear the, the two arps, the gun type of thing. I can maybe move one of them up half tone. All right, now with the piano. Okay, and then here we need 
be kind of like the something here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it very sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. To me, this was the motive. This was everything in the in the movie. Whenever there was a question of is she telling the truth? Is there is there anything hidden behind this? Is there uh, would have this theme or this motive? And then I could make it more consonant or more dissonant depending on how close or far we were from the truth. So it could be something like this. Depending. So th those are the two extremes and the betweens we've had. Now we've got this pulse that creates tension. I think we need something else. Maybe we can prepare this with. have something like ARP and do really cool effects like What happened? Are you alright? Okay, so that's the first thing but then for this to work we have to hit it at the right place Okay, we need to stop these trumpets or whatever it is uh, a little bit earlier to do something like What happened? Are you all right? Oh my gosh, boom. Uh, let's see. What happened? Are you all right? And then I think we're gonna need something like What happened? Are you all right? Whack. And then we're gonna need are you alright? Something like this. Let's take a look at the whole thing. can make it a little more intense but the threat is definitely there hey you watch the video till the end congratulations <laughs> all right so just comment with the i'm a composer hashtag so i know that you've watched the video till the end and also please consider subscribing if you haven't already click the subscribe button this does three things first youtube is gonna show our videos in your home page they are gonna be there when you need them second helps our channel grow makes us happy to see that number increase and three most importantly it lets the algorithm know that what we are doing matter and YouTube is gonna put our videos in front of composers like you that want to grow and learn. We're gonna continue to post free videos to add value that please help us reach more people. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Congrats again for watching the video till the end. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.